Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom from Sportsbook Review. Now, the US Open Grand Slam is now behind us, and unlikely champion Marin Cilic shocked the world. Here with me now to give an early preview of the Australian Open futures market is Alex from Boom Betting Agency. Alex, welcome to the show today. Hi, Nat. Now, Marin Cilic and Kei Nishikori are not two names that were on the tips of many tongues as likely U.S. Open finalists, but that's exactly what was in store for us. Marin Cilic dominated Japanese pro Nishikori and won in straight sets. Now, which play has the brighter future in your estimation? Marin Cilic, from my point of view, will start uh, from now on to shine. I think the best move uh, of his uh, was to take as uh, coach a former great champion, Goran Ivanisevic, and this is a plus, a plus for him day by day. His, take, his, ten, his tennis changed from tournament to tournament in good, and next year uh, he will uh, surprise uh, us all. I think that uh, he will have a great year uh, next year. Kenny Shikori, from the other hand, uh, is a very talented player, but unfortunately he is not consistent at all. He might do an awesome tournament, like the one that uh, passed us, the US Open, and after that two or three tournaments to lose the first or the second round, but not to arrive far for the semis or final. He has to work a lot on in order to put problems to the top 10 in the ATP rankings. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely, though, expecting to see more of them next year. Now let's talk about world number one, Novak Djokovic. Uh, He was the favourite in the US Open and a big favourite in the semi-finals. One of the challenges for players is not only getting on top, but remaining on top. Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal were worthy number ones for years. Are you seeing chinks in Djokovic's armour or did he just have a bad day? I think he just had a bad day. He didn't play nothing in that semi-final. And when I said nothing, I didn't saw uh, Djokovic from the last uh, tournaments, from the last matches. Not efficient at all. He was thinking about the final already, I think. He thought uh, he's the winner without playing that game. Thank God that uh, we didn't play the winner's market uh, and our bet came good with an over 32.5 games in the match. Like that, uh, this is why I like tennis, when uh, six, five, six players are fighting for the first uh, place, not only one uh, to dominate like Federer or Natal did. I think that Nole didn't say his last word uh, and he will come even more stronger from next year. Okay. Well, Djokovic is the shortest in the Australian Open outright winner's field, uh, priced at 2.63. Now, would you take a stab at this number so far removed from the event? No, I'm uh, waiting for the tournament, uh, for the tournaments before the Aussie Open to see how the players will react and how the new year will start uh, for them. And after that, I will consider a bet in that uh, direction. Mm-hmm. Well, Rafael Nadal is trading at the price of four right now. Do you see this number getting any better? Let's see when he will come back from the injury. I'm willing to see that. Uh, what tournaments he will attend uh, uh, and in what form uh, he will be at that time. But even so, if uh, he will be in a great shape, I will, not, I will not make a bet on him on a surface like the Australian Open because he's, he's never too good at the Aussie Open in general. Mm-hmm. Now, Roger Federer can be had at the price of 11. Is this surprising considering his recent form? Mm-hmm. I think uh, that uh, it's surprising uh, why the bookies are offering uh, us uh, so big value on uh, Federer's uh, win. Federer can make a great tournament, he can also win it. He is a great player even at his age. I think he will. Uh, I will make that bet if he will re- it, it will remain the same uh, with uh, two or three weeks before the Grand, Grand Slam will start. But it's a uh, value to take in consideration for the future. Mm-hmm. Now, are there any long shot bets, any players that we should be keeping an eye open for in the Aussie Open? I'm sure that Chilich and Stan Wawrinka will have a great year. And uh, if you can consider them long shots, even if they are in top 10 ATP, then I, they are my long shots. But uh, someone else uh, from uh, out of the top 10 in the world, I don't think that uh, they will manage soon enough to, to win a Grand Slam. I mean, I mean, only top 10 players uh, can win Grand Slams uh, from now on in two, three years from now. Uh-huh, yeah, I agree with you. Wonderful. If you'd like to find more information about Alex uh, or Boom Betting Agency, simply click the link in the description below this video. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation, Nathan. The Espion Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round. 
a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.